Hello everyone, welcome to K-pop Queen for your daily reactions to all things K-pop. Okay, right now I'm about to do the uh, mini album reaction to Dream Capture, Raid of a Dream, or Raid of Dream. I meant to do this a few days ago, but um, you know, you make a plan and then it doesn't happen. <laughs> so you do it some other time and that's just how life is. I am excited to listen to this. It is only five tracks and it's actually like a special mini album. The girls released a single for a game and then attached a mini album to it, which I had no idea about, but I'm so glad that they did this really really smart idea I'm trying to figure out what people said that they liked the most from the TL and I think Silent Night was really popular I saw Silent Night a lot um, on the TL so my anticipation on that one is high but you know I think we're gonna get great music they have really amazing b-side tracks I think this is gonna be it's gonna be really good so let's check it out it's called Raid of Dream um, I thought it'd be Raid of a Dream, Raid, Raid the Dream, whatever. Raid of Dream, okay? It's on Spotify. We give our thanks. It's five tracks, um, including an intro, so an intro plus four. Um, this will be this will be interesting. My eyes are on Polaris, even though I did see a lot about Silent Night. My eyes are on Polaris. I'm really curious about that one. So let's start with the intro, the first track. You know what? Dreamcatcher always gives an intro. They do. They give us an intro, they give us an outro. Guys, I played the piano for 12 years, okay? <laughs> I can I can do this. Celestial feeling, honestly. Wait for it. Get the drum. Bring the ooh. Bring the rock. <laughs> Build up, build up. Get right back into the rock. I wasn't expecting the sudden dubstep. Listen, I don't know why. I don't know why Dreamcatcher and why other artists love to just take me on some rock and roll like road or whatever, think I'm going someplace else, and then actually take me someplace else. I don't even know where I am, and I'm just surprised to the end of it, okay? Wasn't expecting all of the dubstep. I think that's what you call it, yes? <laughs> I wasn't expecting all of the, all the electro and the beats and the drops and stuff. I thought it was just going to be like a little intro, you know, before deja vu, like more rock vibes, so I wasn't expecting that at all, but honestly... <laughs> An intro, getting us right ready to listen to the to listen to the mini and and getting us hype and excited for it. So, <laughs> did its job. The next track is Deja Vu. Nope, no piano. Mm. I always think about just the vocal range in this track. From our lows, you know, from Gan and Dami to our soprano notes from everyone else. I mean, it. Huh! <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, it's just. Yes! <laughs> Harmonies. The strings. Deja vu. <laughs> I'm getting more of the harmonies. The background vocals. The harmonies in that background. Just. <laughs> Strip it away. Soft. I 
mean, I'm at the fucking opera. You know what I mean? Like, I'm getting some fucking art right now. Huh. This was written so, so well. Having all that impact in the chorus, very smart. My favorite section, I'm gonna sing along to it every single time, okay? Just like having the full string section before you go full rock in this chorus. I just want to be free when I listen to this, okay? <laughs> just want to shake my head and my body. <laughs> mm. Background, background vocals. Key change, key change. <laughs> Why'd I do that? God, I just want to sing this song and free, be free and just lose control of my body whenever it comes on. I think it is just, I mean, it's just a good track. And it is so well thought out, the planning for this song. I mean, having it sort of be really simplistic for the verses. We're just keeping it nice and clean vocals, soft vocals as well. We're not really pushing anything. Then we build into the chorus. We build up everything, have that full like orchestra, having the strings come in and having that drum and just let it all go during the chorus and push our vocals as well. This song is about background vocals too, okay? If you're listening really closely, you're gonna hear someone doing a harmony in the background. It's like, it's so light, and I think the same volume as whoever was like singing the first part. So you almost don't even notice it at first, but if you pay attention really closely, you can hear it. And it's just, I mean, it, more kudos to Dreamcatcher and their vocal ability. Okay, the next one, this, the next song on here is The Curse of the Spider. Spider has a capital S, which worries me, okay? I just, I don't know why we would do that. Yeah. 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 I don't even know what the fuck that was. <laughs> I'm sorry. It just happened. <laughs> That's how these reactions are. Shit just comes out of me. <laughs> High energy from the beginning, the minute you press play. More rock. Adding some like that, uh, that game, you know what I'm talking about? Like a, like a Game Boy-like game sound. Let's get that guitar solo going. Fuck yeah. Ooh. I... More background vocals and harmonies. Honestly, I'm just going to be free, okay? I'm just going to dance and I'm going to enjoy it. Let's keep it a little quiet. We're gonna hit him big for this neck for that last course. They're gonna hit us big for it. Let me get prepped for it. Yes! Miss Dummy! Build up. 
build it up. Get this same section like we did in the beginning. <laughs> there it is. Focus on me, look at me every time. I think that's what it was. I was in a game myself like you press play and you begin the game immediately with the curse of the spider high energy from the beginning I'm talking about that like game sort of uh, you know what I'm trying to do like from the beginning running throughout the entire track right a lot more rock and roll in this one for me um, and I felt like it was like a consistent high energy throughout they were kind of muted like during the during the verses and stuff okay a little muted but it still felt way more high energy um, and up than it did with deja vu so that's an interesting difference there um, I have more background in the harmonies more amazing vocals I mean Oh, my heart is racing. Everyone, I just got a cardio workout listening to that one, The Curse of the Spider. Next track is Silent Night that everyone has been talking about. So let's see. I can't play the guitar, but I'm gonna try anyway. Okay, a little bit slower. Still rock though. Don't break my heart no more. The bass, the bass. Mm, all the way up there. Mm. That might be my favorite section in the song. vocals come on high harmony wait for it This right here. <laughs> this right here. Hold on. This I was like, I was like, this is getting faster. What's this beat change? As a B-side track that will knock your fucking socks off every single time. 
the whole album, the album is phenomenal. Yes, of course. But there's always that one B-side track where you're like, the production that day, we did something a little different. We created a little magic. And now I can listen to it for on Spotify. Now I can add it to my playlist. And that is Silent Night. You bitches weren't fucking lying. <laughs> you whores did not lie. This... I need to calm down. I need to calm down because my heart is like, it's like I have so much adrenaline running through me because I was I was not expecting that at all. And you know what? I should have let the intro show me what could be done because the intro was like really soft, really piano, really nice rock. Then it suddenly did that dubstep. That was giving us a little teaser into what could happen with the rest of the album. You'll be taken somewhere one way and then we're just going to flip it around and we're going to take you somewhere else. Silent Night. That fucking chorus, I don't even know how you describe that genre. Would we call it dubstep? Would we call it, I don't know, fucking... <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like, I don't, like, I felt like I was at a festival when that part started going off. Dreamcatcher, once again, introducing a whole new genre in their albums for me. I mean, I know that they can do the rock. I know that they can do the R&B. Now I know that they can do this as well. And I am just like, I'm like, I'm sorry, but girls, <laughs> is, is there no limit? Do we not have a limit to what we can do? Like, like are we just going to continue to trample? Are we just going to continue to take everything over? The last track on here is Polaris. You know what? Let me play this. I'm just... Ooh, okay. We do, like I said, we mix up our genres. Let's make it a little soft. Mm, the strings. Strings and piano. Go. <laughs> piano ballad to end it all. Mm -hmm. We need it. Listen, I need to come down. I need to like calm down. <laughs> Okay, guitar. I was gonna say this could easily be like uh, a song for a drama, and with that guitar, I was like, oh yeah, this is cementing, cementing everything I feel. trickle of the strings. Just really soft, really nice. Letting the lyrics be the focal point probably. Okay, everyone come in with a little background vocal. Okay, okay, drums. Guitar. Yes. Yes. Just nice and soft. Okay. Just 
a really clean and fresh way to end the album. I mean, what a soft little piano ballad track that we just got. And have really full instrumental background. We have the piano, the strings, the drum, the acoustic guitar, the electric guitar. Like, we had everything in there. And yet, we were still keeping it, like, really clean and really soft. Like, it wasn't some full-on, like, impact, like, with the other tracks, you know? But really just letting the lyrics, letting the vocals be everything. Again, really great vocal harmonies. I felt like we kind of had the girls maybe at one mic doing like a chorus like oohs and ahs you know in the background very very nice and just really really peaceful okay okay first of all a fucking mix of tracks on a fantastic little special mini I can't like I'm I'm really like I'm really like they really released a single for a game and they was like, you know what, we'll attract, we'll, we'll, we'll track on some other things. We'll do a whole little mini, you know, it'll be a great special project. And this is what came out of it. And it has just been phenomenal. Silent Night obviously means the world to me. Obviously, it's that B-side track where I'm like, listen, if you're not listening to Dreamcatcher albums, you're missing out on amazing songs. Curse of the Curse of the Spider, though, also is still in my mind. Obviously, Deja Vu, the intro is really nice as well. But like, I mean, every song on here, I feel like I sort of connected to and got lost into as well. And I'm just like, I'm like, I'm going to put this on repeat for the next. Oh, this is what I'm going to be listening to for the next couple of days. I mean, I don't like, <laughs> okay, this is what I'm going to be doing. Um, I'm really going to be getting into the background of every track, in particular Silent Night, okay? Because again, just really made such an impact and such a thing on me. And I'm just like, cool, <laughs> you know? Okay, yes. Thank you guys so much for watching and for putting up with me and my closed eyes the whole time. I didn't really have too much to say. Hope that's okay. <laughs> Hope you still enjoyed it. Comment below with what your favorite track is. And please tell me how Silent Night, like, really got y'all, okay? I need to know your initial reactions when you first heard it. So comment below, tweet at me, and I'll be back with another video. Bye, guys.